Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is just going to be a morning quickie read. I'm gonna try to do these for a few days and see how you guys like them. Please give me feedback and let me know how you're enjoying them. Um, they're just a minute for each sign to see how your person feels towards you. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. I'm giving out two of my decks at 15,000 when I reach 15,000 subscribers to frequent commenters. So you still have a chance to be put in the raffle if you go ahead and comment on a bunch of my videos. Okay, so we're going to start off with Pisces this time first because last time we started off with Aries. So let's see Pisces. How does your person currently feel towards you, Pisces. Six of Pentacles and the Devil, okay? So they might feel like the situation has been very imbalanced. Maybe you guys have addictions together. Maybe you're addicted to each other. There's a codependency here. So if they've taken a step back, I feel like it's because they're trying to find um, balance here. They want things to be more even keel, and I feel like they've been kind of extreme. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? Um, I feel like they could be very sexually addicted to you, but if you're not feeling that, I think it's because they're just fighting that feeling, okay? I can't fight this feeling anymore. All right, Aquarius, what is your person feeling towards you? We've got Knight of Cups and the Magician Reverse. So this person has a lot of romantic feelings towards you, but because they feel so strongly, I almost feel like they're feeling kind of powerless, like they're feeling um, overpowered by their emotions for you, okay? They don't really know how to deal with it. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio here. Pisces is how I see Knight of Cups, but could be Cancer or Scorpio, and this is Gemini and Virgo. I feel like they're trying to figure out how to move forward and how to um, manifest more what they would want with you, but they're feeling, I feel like, kind of insecure here, okay? All right, Capricorn, how does your person feel towards you? Capricorn, how does your person feel towards you? Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. This is interesting because I think I got this yesterday for Pisces. Um, this person definitely wants to see something change, some change happen with you guys. They're feeling a lot of love for you. They're feeling emotionally connected to you. You're actually helping them shift energy in their own life. They're seeing a lot about themselves through you with this two of cups. So I feel you could definitely be de dealing with a twin flame or soulmate. This is a, a definite significant situation and you're really helping them turn the tide in their own life. Okay, interesting. All right, Sagittarius, how does your person feel towards you, Sag? Ooh, we've got the lovers. I haven't seen that card in a long time. You're dealing with either a Gemini, another Sag, Aries, or Leo. This person is very excited about you. They might have other choices. I feel like they're kind of immature, but they are feeling connected to you, and they are feeling excited about the possibilities with you, but they're not necessarily someone that's like dependable or really sure what they want, so just make sure you don't put all your stock in this person, but I definitely feel like they see a lot of love potential with you guys. Okay, let's go into Scorpio. How does your person feel towards you, Scorpio? Too many cards are coming out here. Scorpio, how does your person feel towards you? We've got Knight of Swords and Six of Cups. They're thinking a lot about the past. They're thinking hard about the past. They want to revisit the past. So if this is someone from your past, I do feel like they're wanting a reconciliation. They're wanting to return. They um, may be com coming rushing in impulsively, unexpectedly. This is a soulmate connection. This is a very strong connection. But they're in. They're sort of both in their mental and emotional space here. Very interesting, Scorpio. Okay, Libra, how's your person feeling towards you? Wanting communication here, wanting to move forward, wanting having an energy exchange, feeling like things are incomplete, feeling like they didn't finish business with you. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Libra. Um, this person definitely wants things to move forward, though. They feel maybe that things have been stagnant and they haven't been moving forward, so I feel like you know, things are going to maybe start up again or reignite here, okay? That was Libra, let's go into Virgo. How's your person feeling towards you, Virgo? 
How's your person feeling towards you? Five of Wands, okay, you guys could have had a fight. They could be battling something internally and Queen of Cups, they're very emotional. I feel like emotions are running really high, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're in tune to you. You might be going through personal struggles as well and I feel like maybe they're wanting to help you. They're wanting to nurture you. Maybe you have always been the one as a Virgo in service to them and they want to be helping and caring towards you because there's been some unrest here or you guys have been having fights and they're feeling very emotional about that fight okay that was virgo leo how's your person feeling towards you leo temperance and high priestess two major arcanas we've got pisces energy and we got Sagittarius energy. I feel like this is a very strong spiritual connection. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Sag. They may not be communicating, but they are thinking very deeply about this situation. They're feeling very connected to you. They feel a strong spiritual connection. And I feel like you guys are connecting in the 5D here. Okay. So you're still having some like spiritual exchanges, telepathy and stuff like that. All right, Leo. All right, Cancer, how's your person feeling towards you? Cancer, how's your person feeling? We've got the Empress, beautiful, and Ace of Pentacles. They want a new beginning with you. They're feeling very attracted to you. They see that you're taking care of yourself. They're drawn to your beauty. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. They definitely want like a new tangible beginning with you though. Cancer is a stable, solid thing. This could be your counterpart. They wanna come forward. They wanna offer you a new beginning. Very interesting. All right, that was Cancer's. Gemini, how's your person feeling towards you? Got Queen of Swords, okay. This could be another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Knight of Swords. I feel like, you know, you guys could be counterparts. They could want communication with you. Maybe you guys have had like harsh words with each other. There's kind of been like a cold energy, but I do feel like you're both interested in communicating, but you guys both have to kind of let your swords down and be less air signy. You might be dealing with another air sign or someone with sharp energy and you guys need to break down your defenses and get into your emotions because I feel like you're both feeling strongly towards each other, but you're using your heads more than your hearts here. Okay, Taurus, how's your person feeling towards you? Taurus, um, this person has very strong feelings towards you, but I feel like they're conflicted. They're not like taking that step forward. They're not trusting their intuition or their emotions. They have a lot of love for you. Their heart is open to you, but they are staying in a stalemate for some reason. They're not necessarily tuned into their intuition here, okay? Okay, this is going to be Aries. How does your person feel towards you? Um, conflicted. This We got these same two cards for another sign. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're conflicted about their emotions for you. They do have feelings for you. They are in tune to you. They do care about you. They do want to nurture you. Um, they have strong intuition about you, but they're conflicted for whatever reason. There could be other things in their life that are conflicting them here. All right, Aries, that was it. That was your guys' quickie morning reading. I hope it resonated. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.